What could be more shocking than mass killings, torture, rape, and kidnappings? Have you ever wondered about that? Let's dive into the heart-wrenching atrocities committed in Bukha and so many other places in Ukraine. Imagine small towns haunted by the shadow of Russia's ongoing attacks, the air thick with death, fear, and the streets echoing cries of despair. The man behind this terror? Vladimir Putin. His actions are not limited to the cold-blooded mass killings, brutal torture, rape, and outrageous kidnappings. Oh no, his reign of terror has taken a darker turn. Imagine a beautiful, vibrant land, now marred by millions of tiny, sinister green landmines scattered across Ukraine's villages, towns, fields, and countryside like a deadly plague. It will take decades to remove them. These are not just weapons of war. They are instruments of fear and the murder and maiming of innocent civilians, stealing lives, shattering dreams. Who could be so cruel as to do this? And as if this wasn't enough, Putin aims a deadly blow at hope itself by destroying the very hospitals and medical facilities that could have offered some relief, some chance of survival. These actions are not just crimes, they are pathological. They are a bizarre and horrifying expression of evil, a new low in the annals of war. But what's even more shocking is the support Putin gets. Yes, you heard it right. In the face of such unforgivable atrocities, there are those who accept his propaganda, who stand with him, cheering him on, blaming Ukraine for the crimes against it. It's a reality as shocking as the crimes themselves. Can you believe that amidst such atrocities, there are those who support these actions? In the face of these events, it's bewildering to see that there are individuals and factions within the United States, the US Congress, and even Europe, who seem to lend their support to Putin's actions. It's as if the horror, his brazen disregard for human life, doesn't register with them. Their support, or at the very least, their failure to condemn what he is doing, is nothing short of madness. It's a chilling reminder of how far humanity has fallen, NS how much we've lost sight of the values that supposedly underpin our civil societies. But in the face of such support, the cries for accountability grow louder. They echo through the halls of power, reverberating in the corridors of the international courts. They demand justice for the victims, the innocents caught in the deadly violence of a war Putin started, and that he has mercilessly continued against them for these years. And so the question persists, echoing in the minds of all those watching these atrocities unfold. When will justice be served for these shocking crimes against humanity? These events are unbelievable, and Putin's actions are completely unforgivable. The question is written in the ruins of Ukraine. When will we see accountability for these crimes? We can hope justice will come soon, but the tragic reality is that we may have to wait for that for a long, long time.